Hi guys. Hi guys, it's Shantin here in the middle of the night. <laughs> I am actually looking at my house and seeing how it looks at night. And the one thing I can tell you straight away is that I've got the two sides of the top of my extension wings on either side. I've got them slightly uneven. I need to run up there and put another block on there. I'm going to put my cursor back on. I thought you might like an update as to where I've got to. Uh, and it is actually coming along quite nicely. So let's run up here. Grab some blocks. I don't know about you, but it's always as well if you see something that is completely uneven in your build to wander up and put it right straight away. And the bit that's uneven is here. Oh gosh, I've got the wrong block. I was so busy thinking that it goes over the chisel blocks that what I have forgotten is that it actually needs the stone brick. That's what we need. Stone brick. I'll run up here. You can see that my bedroom is beginning to be furnished. I have an emergency chest in case I get killed somewhere and all my stuff is lost. And of course emergency armour. That's my old armour and it's not got much use in it, but in an emergency, any armor will do, as we know. I hope I don't have one, but I'm not a terribly adventurous soul on this server. I'm very much a builder. Um, we now have a proper way up to the roof. I have had a major disaster in that right here was a picture frame and in it was a wonderful looting sword, a diamond sword that Dog gave me. I knocked the sword to get it out of the frame and it completely disappeared. I looked all underneath in case it had fallen through. I looked everywhere. I logged out. I logged back. No luck at all. It just completely disappeared and that is heartbreaking. This is a magnificent present from Dog. I'm going to make a separate video on that uh, because it very much warrants it. But thank you, Dog, for that. And I'm just so sorry that whatever I did to your sword lost it. But I think it was a glitch in the game, actually. Um, I've now evened up this so that we have nice doorways on both sides. And down here... Um, if you look from my enchanting table, which I think probably needs a bit more light up here, um, this is where I grow trees, a tree farm. And so I have put a bridge down here to lead to the tree farm. And I have put some stairways. And I think that this side is looking better as well because I've started to build up on this side. And it's looking a little bit better. So we now have a way up here. I'm not sure this is the safest of things. So this has progressed nicely. The back has progressed even further. I'm not sure anyone would see the difference. I can see it. But these side partitions with the moon gate are up there. And then coming along here, I have even the side up even more. I've extended it where my cursor is to even up that section or then I'm not going to put top bits in that hole in that hole. I think they look all right without. So that is all looking quite good now. It looks very even to me. If anyone sees any glitches do let me know. Courteously, gently and with great tact because this takes ages. I have spent some time evening up round here and that's just a matter of these square blocks were too low so I've raised them by one. I have completed the huge support structures under there which are all the mossy stone 
and then I have made the portal here a little bit more accessible so that you can actually jump up to it. Oh, look at all the mobs coming to get me. Yoo-hoo! Um, I've solidified the base, again using mossy stone, and I've made um, an area here where you can jump... <laughs> oh, MJ, it's catching, it's catching. You should be able to jump up here. <laughs> I can do this. This is... Come on. Yes, you can jump up there. And unless someone's watching you. Yeah, growly to you too. Growly, growly. My reeds have grown very nicely along here, which makes a nice look. The garden is coming along beautifully. The mine is still as it was. Most of the building I have done, for example, extending and improving this area, they're not obvious things. But my goodness, they make a whole difference to the build. And the whole thing suddenly starts to come together and look rather good. I do think these look rather like Native American totem poles, but I think they're a very, very attractive look. I've increased the support here, as you can see, to make it look a bit more better. I'm just going to go to morning, because I want to show you my willow tree. Um, MJ has a great idea that we should all build monster trees. I have to say, I'm not unwilling to build monster trees, uh, but whether I can get them to look right is a slightly different issue. <laughs> and we all know what that's like. I know that Ricky's good at building trees. If he's going to build monster trees, it should be fantastic. But looking up again, and this is where we started. And I'll just go around here a bit, because my willow tree is running up there to the left. I think it needs a little bit more... I think the trunk doesn't quite give the right impression at the moment. I think I need more trunk bending up to the left. I'll have to see what I can do about that. It's quite difficult to do these things. And where are you, Mr Zombie? Run well out of my way. And I have actually already replaced one tree which needs evening up. I have taken out an oak tree there and replaced it with a, a silver birch because I felt that the whiteness of this build warranted a silver birch rather than the oak. So all in all, I think it is coming along stone by stone and brick by brick quite well. So on that update, I will say no, I won't. I'll say, ha ha. Bye bye, guys. See you.